Please meet Twyla. She says she's here to fight for the heart of her lover. Twyla, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm a lesbian, and I'm here today because I've been going out with this girl by the name of Nicole for about six months now. She has two kids, and I yes. have two kids. And sorry. So you're a part-time lesbian? No, I'm a full-time <laughs> lesbian. Well, we, I decided it, it was probably like maybe... Well, what happened was my dad's kid, my kid's dad's left, and, my, yes. and her dad's left. I see. And so we just got together. Was that the first, this relationship you now have with this woman, is this the first time you've really been with a woman? No. Oh, okay. Not at all. This is probably the fourth time. Okay. Before you got married to the guy? I was never married. Oh, okay. I was just with him. What happened was we got together, and then I got pregnant, and then we separated. Yes. And then Nicole and I got together. Okay. And we've been together for about six months now. Yes. And I've been raising her and her kids. And it's been going really great, but I'm having a problem because her ex-girlfriend keeps emailing me, calling me, and texting me, telling me she's going to come down and kick my ass and everything. <laughs> so, and I'm here today to put an end to it because I'd re I, I love her and I want to be with her. Yeah. And I just want to put a stop to it. Well, okay. I can... S I can see why you became a lesbian. There you go. Okay, so uh, so you want this other woman, th this ex-girlfriend of hers, to stay out because you're with her now. Yeah. Well, when you talk to your girlfriend now about her ex, what does she say? She says they're just friends. There's nothing more. She doesn't talk to her and everything else. And yeah. I think there's more to it than what she's telling me. Yeah. I yeah. think there's a lot more to it. Because, I mean, I... I take her kids to the dentist. We get their feet, teeth fixed. I mean, we do a lot together. Yeah. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we meet this? This is the other. This is the woman who's interfering now. Yes. Have you ever met her before? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's bring her out. Here is the girl, who, the woman who's interfering, Ashley. Why, uh, welcome to the show. Hi. Uh, you're actually, Ashley, why are, why are you writing, these are pretty rough uh, emails that you're writing to her, that you're going to come and kick her and all that kind of stuff. Why would you, why? Because she needs to get the hell out of our life. She emails me and tells me every day that she still loves me and wants to be with me. Oh, uh, this other one. And Nicole, yeah, what's Nicole. her name? Nicole. Nicole. Nicole, oh, she emails you and says she wants to be with you? Yeah. I went off to college. So when I come back, I'll have a career and I'll have a job. So sure. But you could have went to college where you was. You didn't have to move. I go to college. Now I'm going to college to be a nurse, and I'm still in Ohio. Yeah, but what do you have right now? You work at Taco Bell. And you I work at Taco Bell because I'm a full-time student. You work at Hardee's. So and you're not even in college yet. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. You haven't even enlisted. Yeah, I am in college. I lived yeah. it. Car. Okay, who's for Taco Bell? <laughs> who's for Hardee's? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Taco Bell. You're fired. <laughs> yeah. no, just, just. <laughs> okay, yeah. 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 Uh, congratulations, by the way. Yeah. All right, I tell you what, why don't we take a break, and when we come back, we'll meet Nicole and find out what Nicole has to say about this. <laughs> Twyla has a girlfriend, Nicole. She's been with her girlfriend now for six months, but during that relationship, uh, uh, Nicole apparently has been emailing uh, Ashley here because Ashley used to go with, uh, with Nicole, and you're saying the emails say that she loves you, uh, but yet she's still living with you and you guys are still intimate together and she says she loves you? Mm hmm Okay, a a a Ashley, what do you want to say to Twyla? First off, you've been lying to everyone out here. You say that you guys live together and you're raising a family. Where are your kids? You don't even have custody of your two kids. Bitch, yes I do. Yeah! I think we better find out from Nicole. Uh, 
you know, what's going on here? She's living with you, says she loves you, she's intimate with you, and yet she's emailing you saying that she loves you. Okay, let's bring her out. Here's Nicole. <laughs> Listen, Ashley, you left me. You couldn't expect me to wait around for you. I love Twyla. She was what I needed when you left. You know, I went off to do this for us. I went to so I could have a career when I came back to help raise our family. You didn't have to go to South Carolina. You could have stayed here in Ohio. I had someone offer to help me pay to go to college. I don't have the money to go. That's why I'm Ever going heard of to help. Loans? That's why I'm going to get it so I can get help to go to college so when I come back I'll have a career to help you. And now they're not paying for it? You're getting loans for it because she ain't going to pay for it. She done already told you she ain't paying for it. I ain't getting loans for it. She's paying for almost over half of it. Okay, here's the part I don't get. I mean, you love who you want. That's your business. But she says you're emailing her, basically saying that you still love her and... I do love her. I love both of them. And I am emailing her that. Well, that's why there's a problem here, no? I mean, she, she has reason to believe then that you love her and... You can see why she's getting upset. She's getting these emails. You're playing both of them, aren't you? Yes, yeah, I you am. Are. Oh, what do you want to tell them? I can't be with either of you. Because <laughs> I'm part of you. I, I know, I'm sorry. I'm pregnant. I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. I swear, I just... I have never met this woman. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. You're serious. Uh, you're, you, oh, you're pregnant. How are you pregnant, Nicole? You've been with me for six months. You live in my house. I take care of your kids. You take care of mine. How is that? I had a one night stand with some dumbass that said he couldn't have kids. But <laughs> you don't even like guys. <laughs> you don't even like guys. I'm 63, I didn't think. <laughs> oh, so you don't, this guy that you, you have pregnant by, you don't have any feelings for him? No, I was attracted to him, I still am. He's my kid. There, you are the perfect guest. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's what's going on. going on well I love both of them I do but I are you get, are you retiring from lesbianism <laughs> yeah oh you I are fell in, <laughs> I fell in love with him oh I was attracted to him he he came over to check on me when to jail yeah and it, there was just something about him Okay, well, let's find out from him. Let's meet him. Here is Sean. But I want you. You know, I was told when I was eight years old I couldn't have kids. I slid down that pole with that nail. It <laughs> you know? I was told I couldn't have kids. And Nicole. Was it a pole you, like this? I want to be with you. I want to raise this kid. I want that belly to grow big and I want to take care of it. I want a job, and I want you, and I want a family. I want something bigger. We can't afford this kid. I've been pregnant since I was 18. I've already got two kids I can't take care of. We can take care of them. They don't need moms. They need a mom and a dad. They need us. This one, it needs me. But you don't have a job. I don't have a job. How are we going to take care of this kid? A job is easy to get. Is it? It then is. Then why don't we have one? Because you never said you wanted to commit. Commit. 
And I'll work. I'll put the effort in. I'll put the hours in. I'll walk down the concrete. It doesn't matter. Me and you, that's what matters, them kids. I don't want this baby. Baby, I love you. Who we takes care of the children now? Me. <laughs> he ain't got a job. He lives at home with a stepbrother in their apartment. How's he gonna take care of a kid? He don't even live on his own. He don't have a job. He don't have a car. You don't do nothing. Look, look, You're look, bomb. It don't matter. You're bomb. That's look, what matters. I'm the one that takes care of them. I'm the one that takes them to their dentists and their doctors. You don't. You ain't you got. Don't buy them anything. You don't do nothing for them. You, you don't got... even pay attention to them when they're around you. How do you know? They're your nieces. When have you ever been there when I'm there? When you were at my house visiting when? them. When? For how long was I there? Three hours. Man. And you didn't show no mind to them. I yeah. did. For you her. wouldn't even change the baby's for her. diaper. What do you, you want care about it? You take care of them just... damn kids. She said, man, you know, you don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. No, I'm the don't. one that's been there for six months. Man. You ain't. Look, man, you can't be a dad, man. I know I can't be a dad, All but right. I'm doing a better you job of it than you are. Yeah, because she wants to run over there all the damn time. Be in she your face. She lives with me. Yeah, well, we'll She's see. She's my girlfriend. She ain't we'll yours. for how much longer. Yeah, we will, because you yeah, don't have will. a job. And She's how are you going to afford it? She'll come back, because I'm the one matter. that has a job. I'm the one that supports them. It don't matter. You guys will be out what on the you, street. What do you have to say about this? It don't matter. It does. I don't, I don't want the kid. I don't, I don't need another kid. Nicole, man, what do you mean you don't need another kid? Baby, I, I want told, this kid. I, I only slept with you because I thought I couldn't get pregnant. I thought I couldn't either. It's, that's a miracle right there. That's a blessing. The hell it is. What do you mean the hell it is? That's a blessing. This can be us. Us. I don't want another Nicole, kid. Nicole, baby, I need you. I need that kid. That's a, it's a blessing. It's a miracle. There's so many different issues here. The first one, obviously, is the most important one, is about the child. Right. And then secondly, who do you love? But I, I think the three of you ought to have some pause here because she doesn't seem ready to commit to anybody. But Jerry, I love her. And, and, and I, I'm going to love this kid. I'm, I might not have another one, you know? I mean, this, I was told I couldn't have them all my life. Doctors can't have yeah. kids, can't have kids. And now she's pregnant with my baby. I mean... I love you, man. You're sure he's the guy? Yeah, he's the only guy. Okay. I love you. I need you. You don't need this. There's nothing there. Because trust me, if this were sweeps, there'd be another guy. There's nothing there. I mean, look. There's nothing there? There's nothing there. We what do you want to say? God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, girl. Okay, what do, you, what do you want to say about this? Are you still interested in this? Because... I don't see much of a future here. Right now, no. I mean, yeah, she emailed me and told me she loved me and all that, but if she's capable of going around and going with one of my exes and then getting pregnant by him, she'll do it more. Are you ready to settle down? Yes. <laughs> with, with huh? But with whom? With him. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.